7 days and then 8 looks. Opposites attract and this time is this orange, red, red, orange and turquoise. As you can see. I won't try to make it even but if it is even in the end, well, I think it will be achieving something. But the main theme of this, at least this video, is try to show you what I've done. And yeah, I will show you the palettes, the shadows, and the chapter into the video. Be using these two eyeshadow palettes, and the first thing, of course, I applied my base as you can see i have almost nothing and the first shade i will be using is this one in the crease as you might notice i have a tape so oh my i haven't said the the pre-base but i will be applying this shade right there And I don't care if I just get past the tape because it will stop there. And then what is left, I will put it down here. I'm not doing any kind of highlighter or anything. So you, if you like this eye look, you can do it. You can do the highlight that you put on your cheeks. So... This kind of thing, when you put a tape here, it's better to do it before foundation and concealer and everything. I just, I think I just grab a little bit too much. <laughs> well, now what I'm going to do is I will pick another brush and another shadow. Then I will pick this shade here that is a little bit uh, orange red or reddish orange i don't know how to call it i better say how to describe it but i will apply i will place this mainly here right there i need a little bit more Tap motions so I can have more pigmentation. I have a wrinkle here, so if in the end it's not covered, probably it's because I have the, the tape on top of it. And now with my finger, I will apply another shade. I will grab this shade with my finger. This shade is beautiful. And I will apply it all over the lip. Not all over, but almost right there. And now I'll pick another brush and another shade. I wet the brush and I will pick this shade here. As you can see, it's wet. Into or try to do is I will try to place right there to get like a fine wing and try to move right there we can clean it up if it's a little bit thick i don't want to get it so further in but you can do it if you want to it depends on your eye shape i will pick a little bit more but i won't wet it again so if you don't have a liner in in general right if you don't have a shade that you want to have in an eyeliner to do this kind of wing you can do it with an eyeshadow so I think 
it is okay. Why is it here? And then the time of truth, I will just take the tail off. And now we have the wing. Uh, I didn't have it right in the other side, but I have it <laughs> how I want it in this, on this side. So what I'm going to do, I will put concealer, mascara, and I will see you in a little bit. Well, let me just focus. Well, this is the final eye look. If you want to blend more the edges, you can do it. I, I mean, I try to make it a little bit stronger so you can have a contrast, but this is what you want, what you like. I try to fix so they can look a little bit even. I knew from the start that maybe I won't have it. But, well, this is the, the final look. Um, if you liked it, just a thumbs up and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. So, 